depend on your smart speaker. iFix Mildura, always there for you when you damage your phone. Hit News Briefing. Hello, I'm Alicia McFarlane. A raging bushfire in Victoria is sparking spot fires kilometres away and is expected to worsen. An evacuation warning has been issued for several towns west of Ballarat. Chief Officer of the state's country fire authority Jason Heffernan has told the ABC a change in conditions could test fire crews further. There is that wind change coming through. Whilst it will bring cooler temperatures, it is actually going to bring increased wind speeds uh, from the west and the southwest up to potentially 80 kilometres an hour or more. It's as a bushfire in central Tasmania remains at emergency level. Those in D community and surrounding areas are urged to take shelter immediately. A major investigation is underway in Sydney over a suspicious missing persons case involving two men. Bloodied belongings of 29-year-old Luke Davies and 26-year-old Jesse Baird have been found alongside both of their cars. Detective Superintendent Jody Radmore believes an incident unfolded at one of their homes before they went missing on Monday. Witnesses during the canvas yesterday talked about some, um, some shouting uh, on Monday earlier in the morning. Sydney's asbestos scare deepens as more sites test positive. Friable asbestos has been found in garden beds near the Roselle Interchange, linked to potentially contaminated mulch. Australia's gender pay gap continues to drop. It's hit a new record low of 12% in November last year, down from 13% in May. Today's ABS data marks the third drop in a row. To sport, Taron Thomas's turbulent time at North Melbourne has come to an end after the club fired him in response to an 18-game AFL ban for off-field misconduct. The investigation follows repeated allegations, including threatening a woman. Rose GM of football Todd Viney says his needs don't match those of the clubs. There is frustration that we couldn't get some change of behaviour, but there's a bit of sadness there that too that we also couldn't help him um, become a better person. And Steve Smith is set to open for tomorrow's second T20 clash against New Zealand. In 25 years, Aussies have been powering their passion with Battery World. So if you're hitting the open road, on your next outdoor adventure, or simply taking pride in a job well done, there's only one place to go, and that's Battery World. Chemist Warehouse Langtree, open 7am until 11pm. Nurse on call from 6 to 10pm. This is Hit Weather. Sunny for the day across Sunraysia, heading for a top of 43, 27 tomorrow. A total fire ban is in place as extreme fire danger is recorded for the Mallee. We can expect the winds to change this arvo, hopefully cooling.